counting down to first pitch in Miami tonight. It's baseball. It's the show. And it comes your way next. On a humid night for baseball, MLB The Show welcomes you to the Sunshine State, Miami, Florida, the site for this edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight it's game two of this three-game series, as it'll be the St. Louis Cardinals taking on the Florida Marlins. And hello again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian here to call the action. Alongside me, trusty colleagues Dave Campbell and Rex Hudler. And Dave is the veteran member of our booth. We turn to you first. What catches your eye in this matchup? Well, one guy you have to enjoy watching play the game is Dan Ugla. He's one of those guys that actually reminds me a little bit of HUD. He's scrappy, gives you his all on the field, and can steal a base if need be, and he can hit. His hair is not quite as nice as Rex's, but you get the idea. All right, Dave, thanks, and we'll hear from Rex shortly, I'm sure. But first, let's check out the starting lineup for the visiting Cardinals. It's brought to us by Majestic. And Ryan Ludwig's a guy whose career finally took off in 08. He's got to prove those big numbers were no fluke. And there's a look at the starter this lineup will match up against as you take a look at his line on the right side of your screen. And in the field, the Marlins will align themselves like this. Skip Schumacher will move towards the batter's boxes. We're just about set to get underway tonight. And the first pitch is taken for ball one as we're underway tonight in South Florida. First pitch, 705. Here's the pitch. In there, one and one. Game time temperature, a comfortable 76 degrees. Here's a swing and a high pop-up out in front of the mound. And there's your first out of the inning. Our umpiring crew for tonight's game, Woody Keller calls the balls and strikes. The old Irishman Porter Callahan's over at first. Dutch Nelson, the crew chief, will be out at second. And Joe Watson will be the arbiter down at third. Leadoff man gone, and here's Adam Kennedy. Fastball in there for a called strike. Pitching coach will love that location. Now a swing and a ball grounded foul off to the right side. Bases are empty, one man out. The pitch. Now a swing and a ground ball for Ramirez at short. Throw will be in time to nip Kennedy at first for route number two. First couple of guys set down here. You'd love to get a 1-2-3 opening frame if you can get it. And with two gone now, they'll get to work on Albert with the bases empty. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. And this guy comes off a nice ball game yesterday. Two knocks with one of them being a big fly. Grounded to third. Dive, but it's just past his outstretched glove for a base hit.
Well, sometimes it's easy to say the pitcher made a mistake. He did not make a mistake on that one. That was a good pitch in a good spot. Sometimes you just tip your cap and move on. Ryan Ludwig will get his first cuts here. In there at the knees, strike one. And that's a power fastball right there at 94. He really slings it in there. Fastball, and oh, he has to bend out of the way of that one. There are times when you need to show a guy early who's boss. Now a changeup is bounced to second. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. A good first inning of work there for Ben Sheets. And now the Marlins will have a crack at things. No score. A look there at the Marlins starting lineup as put together by their skipper, Freddy Gonzalez. And as far as young sluggers go, Dan Ugla is one of the best of the bunch. And to think he was a Rule 5 pick. They'll go to work against a guy that's won more games in 2008 than in his previous five big league seasons combined, right-hander Todd Wellemeyer. And behind him defensively, a look at the Cardinals' alignment led by a Gold Glove Award winner behind the plate, Yadier Molina. Hanley Ramirez will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. Down and in here, one ball, no strikes. The next pitch. One and one. Oh, that's what you call a challenge fastball right there. Swing at a high pop-up straight back, though it looks as though he'll have room back there. And Molina will watch this one in for the first out. And with one away, we give you a look at the dimensions here at Dolphin Stadium. The power alleys are fairly short, 360 to left center and a foot longer out to right center. But look how deep it gets out there in center field, 434 feet. Quite a poke to get it out there. Alfredo Omeziga will get his first opportunity now. And this misses outside and a bit high. One ball, no strikes. Well, we're going to have to watch where he's missing with that fastball. If he keeps leaving it up, he's going to run into trouble going forward. One out, nobody on. In for a strike, it's one and one. And a foul ball straight back. Now a ball bounced towards the mound. And a throw to Pujols is in time for the second out. So now with two gone, we'll see Manny hit with the bases empty. And a called strike on the corner. He didn't like that call. I don't blame him. 
And Woody Keller's known for having a pretty fair strike zone, but he was pretty generous on that one. Fooled him a bit as this is hit high in the air towards right center and shallow. Schumacher is underneath this one, and he will make the catch, so that'll do it. So they breeze through this half of the inning. Second inning coming up here in South Florida with no score. Rick and Keel leads things off now in the top half of the second. Now a ball hit high down the left field line, but back in amongst the spectators, foul. Did he go? Started to go around there. Looked like he held up in time. No, strike two, says the third base umpire. Now here it comes. Ball swung on and hit high down the line in left, but it'll get back in among the crowd, so the count holds it 0-2. Tried to get him out front, but it's a ball one and two. And getting this guy going is going to be a real key if these guys want to turn things around. Popped him up. Over to the left, but playable over in foul ground. And he'll put this one away for the first out of the inning. So the leadoff man's gone for Khalil Green. Hey, Khalil! You don't stand a chance! And, hmm, not quite sure what was wrong with that one, but it's 1-0. and And I think he just got a gift call right there to begin the at-bat. That should have been a strike. And he looks at a curveball that falls in one and one. And he could get that average up over 300 if he could come through with a base hit right here. And now a sharply hit ball toward the right side as this gets foul past the coaching box. Here it comes. Three. And here's a swing and a miss by Green as he set down on strikes for route number two. And you talk about a pitch falling off the table. Watch this thing drop. That's nasty. So two are gone now for Yadier Molina. Boy, still some zip to the fastball from Sheets as he gets ahead, no balls and a strike. And he's looking sharp, but he's been around the plate an awful lot here in the early going. Hit on the ground towards first. And he'll step on first for the out. This side is retired. So no problem there for Ben Sheets. Still nothing, nothing. Dan Ugla will start things off in the bottom of the second. Swing and a ball bounced back up the middle. 
And the Marlins are into the hit column. There's their first base hit. Jorge Cantu will be the batter. And he'll watch the slurve that falls in for strike one. And this guy wore the collar yesterday, an 0 for 4 game. Ball one. One and one pitch home to Cantu. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. And he's keeping the fastball low at least. That's all right. Nobody out, runner on first. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Oh, not even close with that one. Might be a good time for the catcher to go have a word with him. And he misses there for ball four, so runners are at first and second now with nobody out. Jeremy Hermida will take his first cut to the ball game here. He's ready, now the pitch. And he starts him out with one high and tight, ball one. And still nobody out here, so you need to straighten out your location problems in a hurry. Here's a ball hit pretty well and carrying to deep right. Schumacher has to back up a bit, but he has it shy of the wall for the first out. John Baker will dig in here. And he waits on a change up there and pulls it to fairly deep right field. But he's going to get there as he runs it down on the warning track for the second out of the inning. And they'll take the lead here as he does the job with the sack fly and they move out in front. Just needed to get this thing airborne to get that first run of the game home. And he does his job with the sack fly. Gabby Sanchez will be the batter. Now here's the first pitch. Ball hit on the ground for Khalil, it's short. Throw to Pujols is gonna be in time and the inning is over. So one run on one hit, no errors and a runner left. We've played two full. Florida's out in front, one to nothing. Brian Barton will get his first shot at it here. Brian Barton. Now the first pitch. And a bit too high with that one. It's 1-0. And that's what that four-seamer will do. It has a tendency to really rise at the end. And the fastball hitting 93 on the gun. It's 1-1. One one. Boy, and that is just the definition of hitting your spots. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. Wait. 
And this pitch is taken outside, I suppose. Hmm, three and one. Boy, I think that umpire just flat missed this one. This should be strike two. Swing and a hot shot toward third. And this is going to get past Cantu down the line. A fair ball. The throw into second. And he is safe at second base as he legs out a double. Well, it's still fairly early in the ball game, but a good job there leading off the inning as they get the tying run into scoring position with a leadoff double. Todd Wellemeyer will step in, and with nobody out, we'll see if they want to let him swing the batter, try to bunt that runner on to third. Here's the first offering. Bun attempt is popped into foul ground. Showing bunt, but he winds up taking ball one. And a good chance to really help himself out here early on. Gets this one down. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. He's ready now, the pitch. And he tries to bunt here with two strikes, but he's out. So one gone here in the St. Louis third. And standing in, the left-handed hitting Skip Schumacher. And this is off the corner and low, ball one. Yeah, it looked like a pretty good curveball there, but he did not get the call. One zero on the way. And now here's a ball grounded foul over toward third. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. And over towards the dugout, but this one will get into the stands. One out and a runner on second base. Fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Quite a challenge pitch here on two and two. He decides to take him up in the zone, and I bet he was looking for something down at the knees because he swung right underneath the thing. Adam Kennedy will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And a fastball just misses for ball one. Yeah, with Albert waiting on deck, you really got to come hard at this guy. And ooh, looked like a definite pitcher's pitch there on the inside, one and one. Oh, and he's got a legitimate gripe there. I don't know about that one. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. And this one gets away, and it ought to be scored a passed ball. 
And the recovery will not be in time as he's into third on the passed ball. And this is near the line, but foul wide of first. Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air into foul territory behind first. Sanchez is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. The Marlins on top, one to nothing. Ben Sheets makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. First pitch coming. Now ball hit toward third, but this is going to wind up a foul ball. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. In the air now to straightaway right field. Schumacher is there, one away. Leadoff man gone, so they'll work against the shortstop, Handley Ramirez. First pitch coming. And this is going to be just foul down the line as that had double written all over it. Let's go, Marlins! The 0 1 is a fastball low, and that evens the count at 1 and 1. And if you're going to miss with a fastball, that's the spot to do it. Two and one. And now in the mound, you lose the advantage of strike one by missing with two straight. Oh, and a perfect time for the slurve there. It's two and two. Two one pitch. He's looking for something to pull, but you're not going to do much with that. The 2-2 coming. Now a fastball, and it's hit on the ground to short. Up with it is Khalil. And a throw to Pujols is in time for the second out. Alfredo Omezaga will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Hit hard, but this will be a foul ball. One and one. Too high there and maybe a bit outside as well. Two and one. Yeah, pretty good zip, but it's easier for guys to lay off when it starts up like that. Ready with the two one. Now a ground ball towards the hole. And this is past to diving Kennedy, a base hit. Manny Ramirez will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. Stabs for it. He's got it. 
throw over to Pujols at first. He'll take care of him to end the inning. Albert Pujols will get us started in the next half inning. Three innings complete. The Marlins lead this one one to nothing. Albert Pujols will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Now the first pitch. And the breaking ball by Sheets gets him ahead there, 0-1. Let's see if he can get a little something going in a 1-0 game. Swing and a high pop drifting into foul territory. Sanchez is camped under this one. One gone. One man gone for the Cardinals in the fourth. And that brings up the power hitting outfielder Ryan Ludwig. First pitch on the way. Swing and he takes this the other way to right. Base hit. The relay, not in time, and he's in there with a double. Rick and Keel will dig in. He popped out his first time. Ball hit high and foul down the left field line. It's strike one. Runner at second here with one man out. Drops another curveball in on him, and he's got him guessing here. It's 0-2. Another one. Back-to-back -back breakers. Swing and a ball headed towards the hole. And that's by him into right field for a base hit. The throw to the plate. And the tag. Too late as he's across to tie things at one. So a runner on first with one out now. And here's the shortstop, Khalil Green. And here's the first pitch. In there, and it's 0-1. Takes a good swing at that one as this is sent down the line in right, but ultimately into the crowd of foul ball. And the curveball bounces here, but a good job behind the plate to keep it at arm's length. But fortunately, no advance. This pitch is popped straight up, right around the home plate area. Baker has a bead on it, and he's got it two down. Yadier Molina will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and a little tapper out in front of the mound. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. On now to the bottom half of inning number four, all tied at one and one. Dan Ugla will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Tough guy to face here to start this inning.
Now the pitch. Hit hard to the right side, but foul. And a slur, but this is in the dirt for a ball. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two-seamer, and that's out number one. Hasn't had the strikeout pitch working to this point, as you see there, just his first one, but he's been effective nonetheless. The leadoff man retired now for Jorge Cantu. Starts him out with a fastball too low for ball one. Swing and a miss one and one. Mm, just overmatched him there. Ball popped foul to the right side, out of play. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. There to take it is Kennedy. And a throw to Pujols is in time for the second out. So two men are gone here on the floor to fourth. And that'll bring forth the youngster, Jeremy Hermida. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Here's the 1-0. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. Two out, nobody on. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Swing and a high pop-up toward the stands behind third. And this will land foul. And this is hit weakly in fair territory up the line. And an underhanded throw is in time for out number three. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We played four full, all tied at one and one. Brian Barton will stand in here. He doubled his first time around. Barton. And here's a fastball called for strike one. And these guys would love to see the bottom of the order get some offense going. And now a pitch on the way. And low, it's a ball and a strike. And I'll tell you, when he's missed, he's barely missed. Everything's been around the strike zone. And that's high and off the plate, two and one. And 
this one is over, and he works the count back to two and two. Maybe looking for something away. He gave up on that one. And this will be grounded foul down the line at third. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. Boy, and he will kick himself if he loses this guy. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. Todd Wellemeyer will stand in in what would appear to be a sacrifice situation here. And this one's bunted out in front of the plate. And they'll have to go to Ugla covering the bag at first as the sacrifice is a good one. Skip Schumacher will try again. Struck out swinging his last time through. He's set. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss. 0-1. And, and coming off that long duel to start the inning, you wonder if maybe he'll try to pitch to contact here. little bit low that time maybe outside as well and this is swung on and bounced out to Ugla at second throw in time at first for route number two Adam Kennedy will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. And a fastball is in there for strike one. And he's still looking for a base hit here to keep that modest five-game hitting streak alive. Two outs here with a runner at third. And this ball will be chopped foul. He's set, now the pitch. And a breaking ball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. Cards leave one, halfway home, all even at one apiece. John Baker will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. Hit hard to the right. Foul. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0 and 2. Now the pitch. And here's a ball lined softly toward the hole, and a dive by Green, but he can't get to it, a base hit. Aboard with the leadoff single, and the way things are shaping up. They're going to need to capitalize on every chance they get because they might not get too many. Gabby Sanchez will dig in. 0 for 1 in the ballgame.
a swing, and he saws him off here as this ball's popped into the air. And he's going to make the catch on the warning track. Fine running play there for the first down. Ben Sheets will take a long look down here as he may be bunning to avoid the double play. And they'll try to stay out of the double play here as he lays this one down. A tag for one. So a runner in scoring position with two men gone. And at the plate is the young shortstop, Hanley Ramirez. And oh, pretty nonchalant that time by Molina as that pitch gets away. But surprisingly, no advance here. And a fastball here that's taken for ball two. And with two outs and a base open, they may just be working around him here. Here's the 2-0 pitch. Swung on. Missed. 2-1. Third time through the lineup for these guys now, and they haven't done a whole lot to this point. And Ramirez will just try and work his way aboard here. It's three and one. Yeah, smart to be careful with this guy, especially with the base open. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground is short. Throw to Pujols is going to be in time, and the inning is over. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. Five innings complete, all tied at one and one. And before we get underway here in the sixth inning, let's take just a moment to check out the Cardinals' in-game box score presented by the folks at Upper Deck. Albert Pujols will get things started here in the top of inning number six. First pitch coming. Swing and a hard hit ball towards the hole. And just past his outstretched glove into left, a base hit. Ryan Ludwig will step in. He doubled and later scored his last time. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. And it's a called strike to even the count at one. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. And this is a guy you'd probably rather pitch to the corners instead of up. Really giving some leeway on the outside edge here. Two and two now. And we've seen he's been pretty consistent calling that low strike. Leadoff man aboard here in a 1-1 ball game. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. That's dangerous there. If you're going to miss, you want to miss off the plate away, not on the inside half where the guy can turn on it. At first is Pujols, the pitch. On good opposite field power here as this fastball is taken high and deep to right. And that is over the wall. Home run. 
A two-run blast to straightaway right field. 19th home run for him on the season. As they have taken the lead, it's 3-1. to one. First pitch here is reached for and hit on the ground to third. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. And I think this ground ball is coming one batter too late. They could have used this against the last guy. Khalil Green will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. Lays off 1 and 0. And he's still hitless to this point in the game, so that 11 game hit streak could be in some jeopardy. One-0 pitch is a curveball. That looked good from here, but it's two and zero. Just no bite on that breaking ball right now. It's just sort of spinning, but not moving a whole lot. And that one's wide to the mark. Ball three. And you've already given up two in the inning. Do not compound the air by walking guys. Taking all the way, and it's three and one now. Oh, he's wishing that take sign wasn't on. Let me hack. Three one on the way. In the air to straightaway center field. Amezaga will wait on it. And there's the second out of the inning. Yadier Molina will stride in, grounded out his last time through. Change up, a little bit inside, 1 and 0. Oh. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Wait. Fouled straight back. And the pitch. And now here's a ball grounded foul over toward third. Let's go, Marlin. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. And he lays off the curveball, so it's a full count now. Going a little more with the breaking ball here as he goes along. We didn't see it as much the first few times through. Three-two pitch. Now a swing and a ground ball back up the middle. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. Brian Barton will stand in, base on balls his last time. First offering on the way. Now a swing and a bouncing ball toward the hole. Throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Two, three, and four do up in the home half of the sixth. The Cardinals lead it three to one. 
And before the Marlins take their cuts, it's time once again to check out our in-game box score. Alfredo Omezaga will be the batter as we get things going in the bottom of the sixth. Starts him out with a changeup off the plate for ball one. And let's see if he can maybe get a little offense going. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Started to go around there. Looked like he held up in time. No. Strike two, says the third base umpire. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. So one away here in the inning for Manny Ramirez. Now here's the first pitch. And he takes ball one. And even though he's pitching well, this is the part of the order that he's really got to worry about. And 2-0 and as this one's taken low. And this part of the order needs to really step things up. Out in front here as this is pulled down the third base line. Throw on to first and they're able to take care of Manny two away. Dan Ugla will get another shot. Struck out swinging his last time. And he lays off there, 1-0. Oh. Fastball misses badly there, and he's behind 2-0. and oh. And you can tell he's really showing him a lot of respect at the plate. And now Ugla swings and hits this one on the ground to shortstop. Taken there by Green. Throw over to Pujols at first. He'll take care of him to end the inning. Nothing across here this half. Seventh inning coming up. St. Louis is out in front. Three to one. Your attention. A new pitcher coming on now. It's the former Crimson Tide standout. Left-hander Taylor Tankersley. Todd Wellemeyer will lead it off here in the top of inning number seven. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. The 0-1 is swung on and bounced to the shortstop, Ramirez. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Skip Schumacher will try again. 0 for 3 thus far. And 
Fastball in there for a called strike. Strike two. Uh, what are you waiting for, amigo? Inside, as that perhaps will back him off a bit. One and two. Yeah, almost the same pitch, but this one was a few more inches inside, so he doesn't get that call. Now ball hit toward third, but this is going to wind up a foul ball. Yeah! Yeah! And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Oh, and here's where that slider is so effective. You take just a little bit off so it looks like a fastball, but then it disappears at the end. Great pitch. So two are gone in the inning now for Adam Kennedy. And oh my gracious, where did that pitch miss? It's called ball one. Ah, oh, come on already. And that's too high, ball two. And here's a case where you can just sit on fastball. If you don't get one, just take it. Two well count, the pitch. And that's in there, two and one. Probably just take until he gets a strike there. Not a bad idea the first time you see a guy. Grounded foul down the line near first. Now a fastball popped high in the air over toward the right side of the infield. Sanchez is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. So they go quietly here in this half inning. Time to get up and stretch here in Miami. Cards lead it three to one. Jorge Cantu will step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. Swing and he pops him up. Looks to be playable in foul ground. Molina is right there, and very quickly, one gone. And dude, when it's late in the game and you're losing, why are you swing at the first pitch and helping the guy out? Come on now. So the leadoff man retired here, and that'll bring up Jeremy Hermida. And that misses ball one. And all this good work on the mound so far can be undone with one bad inning. So focus needs to be sharp right here. Now a swing and a sharp ground ball toward the hole. And past the diving infielder, that's a base hit. John Baker will dig in. He singled his last time around. And now a swing and a ball hit in the air out to left field. And Ludwig will make the play for route number two. 
Gabby Sanchez will dig in. 0 for 2 thus far. And now here's a ball grounded foul over toward third. Sets the target low here, and it misses one and one. And he's hardly even had to work out of the stretch so far. This is almost like a new experience for him out there. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. And when you're trailing three to one late, it's important to really concentrate in every at bat. Ball swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. A leap of the wall, but it's gone. Home run. Bud Rodriguez has come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Grounded foul down near third. And he misses here with a slur, even at one and one. And the folks here have been treated to quite a ball game so far. And softly to the right side, but foul. The one-two pitch to Pudge. Foul back. Reaches for one, but can't find it as he's down on strikes for the final out. So they get a couple of runs on two hits, no errors, and no one left aboard. Eighth inning coming up, and we are all tied at three apiece. And we'll have a new pitcher here as the hard-throwing Brandon League enters the mix. Albert Pujols will step in. Singleton came around to score his last time. And the first pitch is right by him to the backstop. So an interesting start to the at-bat there. It's 1-0. And 2-0 now as this misses below the knees. And this is one of those guys that can break a tie with one swing of the bat. Swing and a hard hit grounder down the line. A dive, but it's by him down the line. Now time is called and we'll have a pinch runner at first and that'll be a wise decision as he's the potential go-ahead run. Ryan Ludwig will try again after hitting that two-run homer his last time around. And a good heater there from Lee gets nothing in one. And they could certainly use another home run out of him right here. And here's a fastball that looked pretty good, but it's one and one. Very late on a 
change up there as it's hit high in the air down the right field line. There to play it is Hermida as he puts it away for the first out. So a runner at first now with one away, and that'll bring up the pitcher turned outfielder, Rick Ankeel. And now a swing and a miss, and that's what you call establishing the inside part of the plate. It's strike one. I mean, you talk about not getting extended. My goodness. Possible go-ahead runs on first, one away. And here's a swing and a miss on a good pitch that time as they move in front of Van Keel, 0-2. He's going to need to tighten up that swing a little down, 0-2. And, and a swing and a miss as they caught him reaching that time, and there are two away. Khalil Green will try again, 0-3 for 3 thus far. in there for strike one. Yeah, with two outs, you got to get a good lead at first so you can score that go-ahead run on a ball in the gap. And a good job to lay off the fastball. They're close, but it's one and one. Outside, two and one. Right. Fastball is looked at for strike two. I don't blame him for taking that. That is some heavy duty heat right there. Swing and a ground ball towards the hole. Look at this. Throw gets him at first. And even the East German judge gives that one a score of 10 as the side is retired. One left for the Cardinals. Score remains tied at 3-3. Three to three. Ryan Franklin will be the new pitcher. Jason LaRue will come into the game now on defense. Now playing first base, number 21. Hanley Ramirez will lead things off here in the bottom half of inning number eight. And he'll look at a fastball that doesn't miss by a whole lot. It's 1-0. when he finds his spot there, one and one. And at the plate, he's just one for seven in the series, so he's in a bit of a cold spell. And, oh, looked to be a strike on the monitor up here, but that's why I'm not an umpire. It's two and one. Ah, and that might be the kind of call you get when you're an all-star. That looked to catch a lot of the plate. Good breaking ball, and it's in there, two and two now. And there was a good breaking ball. Might have caught him off guard a bit that time. And this is swung on and missed that time by Ramirez, a strikeout victim, and there's one away. Well, he just hadn't looked very comfortable up there throughout the entire game. He might have been pressing a little bit right there because he chased a bad pitch, and now he's going to head back to the dugout wearing an 0-4 for 4 collar. 
Alfredo Amezaga will get another crack, one for three thus far. And a layoff a fastball here in a good spot, but ruled the ball 1-0. and And this has been a well-played ball game. No errors on either side. Ground ball to second for Kennedy. Throw gets him, two down. So two are gone here in the Florida eighth, and standing in the always dangerous left fielder, Manny Ramirez. And he lays off a fastball, looked good, but it's 1-0. and And this is a guy that loves the moment on the mound. He lives for this. Bases are empty here with two men out. That swung on and missed, we're even at 1-1. One and one. They haven't been afraid of coming after this guy. They've made him have to swing the bat. Here's one hit towards the hole. A dive, but it's by him for a base hit. Dan Ugla will step in. A ground out victim his last time. a cut fastball in there for a strike. It's 0-1. And here's the man of the hour right here. This is definitely the guy you want up in this spot. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. And this is hit to the right side, but it'll wind up foul down the line at first. Swing and a miss is all he could do was reach out in vain for that one, and the side is retired. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. Ninth inning coming up, and we are all tied at three apiece. Yadier Molina will step in, a base hit in his last time. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and one. Chopper, foul. Down the line, but this is a foul ball. He'll try again, one, two. And that's going to be high two and two now. Sweet. Good biting slider there, hit on the ground down to third. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. And 
it looks now as though we'll have a pinch hitter to tell you about as the lefty Chris Duncan is up off the bench and into the on-deck circle. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball, 1-0. 98? He put a little Tabasco on that one. Sss. 1-0 pitch now. Ah! Line hard, but foul. And this is low, ball two, two and one. Duncan. Bases are empty, one man out. Hey. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Yeah, good crossfire action on the fastball there. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. And he might walk a guy or two, but it's not because he's intimidated. He'll come right at you. And he lays off, ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. Leo Nunez will come on in relief here and appear in game number 25 on the year so far. Troy Glaus will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number eight, Troy Glaus. Fastball close, but ultimately ruled a ball, 1-0. And how tough is it to come in right out of the pen and have to face this guy? And he misses low with it, 2-0. And let's see if he makes him throw a strike here. Possible go-ahead runs on first, one away. Boy, and Woody Keller's just not giving him any help now. It's 3-0. Boy, that looked pretty good. You hate to give this guy extra strikes to work with. And he misses with it, ball four, so the potential go-ahead run moves into scoring position now. Skip Schumacher, who looked to change his fortunes, 0 for 4 with two strikeouts thus far. Here's the first pitch. And here's a fastball that swung on and lifted down the left field line. Manny is over to his right and he puts this one away for out number two. Ball slicing away from him there, but that's a good jump and a good first step as he runs this one down. Big spot here, first and second, two men gone, and making his way in is the second baseman, Adam Kennedy. And this 
is taken outside for ball one. Boy, it feels like no one sat down since about the seventh inning. And a good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. Some anxious moments in that dugout now. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. He'll come home with it. But it is not in time as they take the lead here in the late going. Jason LaRue will take his cuts now. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. From the belt, the pitch. Three. Struck him out, so it remains a one-run lead as they head in for their final set of swings. So one run on one hit, no errors, and two left. Five, six, and seven will lead things off in the bottom of the ninth. The Cardinals lead it four to three. Chris Duncan is going to go ahead and stay in the ball game and play third now. Chris Duncan. Ninth inning save situation in front of us, and they'll ask the right-hander Chris Perez to get the final three outs. Jorge Cantu will stand in, 0 for 2 thus far. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. And nope, this one falls, so he'll get another shot. Here's the pitch. And that misses one and one. And these guys could really Let's use a leadoff base runner here. Slider clocked in the mid 80s there. It's a ball and two strikes. And this guy's 0 for 6 in the series thus far, so he's got to be about due to come through. Lifted high into foul ground down the right field line. But this will land out there just foul. The one-two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Yeah, and when you miss wild like that, it certainly does not help you set up your next pitch. That's the 2-2 pitch. And this will be grounded foul down the line at third. And this pitch is swung on and hit routinely on the ground to second. And Kennedy can't hang on. Jeremy Hermida will get another crack. One for three thus far. Here's a fastball upstairs, 1-0. And he's not going to swing at borderline pitches. He knows what his assignment is. All right, Jeremy! Aye. And that's in there for his strike, 1-1. One one. Woof, you can hear that catcher's glove snapping from up here. Swing and a ball sliced foul into the seats down the left field line. Let's go, 
Now here it comes. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. Well, he set down the first two guys to face him here in the inning, but they haven't made it easy. It's taken 11 pitches here, but he'll probably take it. John Baker will stand in. He flew out his last time up. And that's dead center for strike one. And if he can earn the save here, this would be number 21 on the season. Oh, and a swing and a miss on that one. And the Marlins find themselves down to their final strike now. Looking to wrap this one up, lock, stock, and barrel. The pitch. And he just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. And a fastball runs in a bit too close for comfort that time. And that's the tying run at the plate, so I don't think he was trying to go after him. On a swing, and he popped him up. Off to the left in foul territory. Duncan is there to make the catch, and with that, the ball game is over. Matt, these guys are playing pretty good baseball right now, and another win here is going to keep the pressure on the rest of the NL Central to keep pace. So good ball game here in this one with runs hard to come by. It makes it much easier to find our difference maker as you get a look there, Dave, at our upper deck player of the game. Yeah, Matt, you can see a couple of hits, including an important home run, and he really supplied the difference in this game as far as I'm concerned. So that'll just about wrap things up. For Dave Campbell, Rex Hudler, and Rex's hair, I'm Matt Vaskersian saying thanks for joining us here this evening. This has been a presentation of MLB 09 The Show. For more, click on over to MLB09.com. The Cardinals win it 4-3. A post-game highlight package is next, so until next time, good night from South Florida.